Okay, Molly, we mostly reviewed today. Um, we reviewed the first string scale. Here's a reminder, we named all the notes. We moved to E5 and went up five degrees. Here's a reminder, then we descended four degrees. Descended in the major, and we decided this G sharp would be our starting point since the E's on the top. And this sounds like an E major chord, like a one chord. Major and minor, uh, culminating in your sixth major and minor. Okay, and that's where we left off your review. We didn't review your blue scales. Um, we could have reviewed the active scales, even though we didn't. Those are the ones that go like this. And I think we've gotten all the way to a two octave E and A. A is identical, except for the G string slide on your second finger. talked about dreams which is an F triad this is a root a third and a fifth so it's minor by flattening the third back to major an F triad that moves up to a G and in both cases you keep the open high E so that makes the F an F major seven and the G a G six and in each case you're gonna wrap your thumb around to get a bass note It's nice to get a suspended fourth with your pinky like this. Just add a little color to it. And then the other move you can do is this parallel thirds run that's just like Rhiannon. On the G and the B string, so it's... So that's dreams, and then we talked about message in a bottle, which is based on a perfect fifth idea, which we call power chords, except rather than do the octave, which is very comfortable, it takes the octave up a whole step to a ninth. So you have one, five, nine. Which is the other thing that we reviewed. We reviewed intervals, starting with a major third. We did parallel thirds in all five string groups. And we said that a major third becomes a perfect fourth, becomes a perfect fifth, can extend that up to a, to a sixth, um, etc. And that's what's at work here. You have a perfect fifth from C sharp, and then you're adding the ninth rather than the octave above it. And for the open A, it's just open to four. We don't have to stretch that one, but we stretch the B, and we stretch the F sharp, and slide it half a step up. chorus goes into the key of A and you play a 1, 4, 5 and you can do it with kind of lower voices so it sounds more like power chords. Then we do C sharp minor. Oh, I'm wrong. F sharp minor. I hope to D. Someone gets my three times back and forth. F sharp minor. that. That's
that's most of what we covered except for review stuff. And we also briefly reviewed the diatonic series in the key of E. You know one, four, five are major, two, three, six are minor, and you should do this scale in E and A. So E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor. And the key of A using A form bar chords, A, 